Miracle Grove versus Master Blend. Ooh, the blue stuff we all love. To start this test, I'm going to use my AB Grow Pails and three gallons of reverse osmosis water. Seeds that I'm going to use is daikon tillage radish, buckwheat, and clover. Now, because I don't know exactly what the PPM is going to be for the Miracle Grow, I'm going to take and mix up my Master Blend first, measure it, and then I'll adjust the PPM to get it as close to the Master Blend as possible. Both will then be pH'd so that the pHs match and that they're as close to neutral of a pH of 6 for hydroponics. The amount of master blend nutrients I'm going to use is uh, just following the bag instructions. We're going to see what that mixes up to for PPM and then we'll try to match it as closely as we can with the Miracle Girl. So we've got our master blend solution all mixed up here. The PPM is 738, so we're going to try to get our Miracle Girl solution PPM as close as we can. So I mixed up the first teaspoon of miracle Grow into three gallons and that got us up to a whopping 54. So a whole ton more miracle Grow to go and we'll mix this stuff up and get it going. All right, both solutions are all pH'd up here. We can see they're both fairly close to 6.0. Something uh, being a little bit noteworthy, the miracle Grow took about twice as much pH up to get it into balance as the master blend. Next up, we'll take the net cups, line them with some cheesecloth, and fill them up with perlite. There's no fancy reason why I use the cheesecloth here. It's just to keep the perlite out of my pails and out of the pumps. With the lids on the pails, the only thing that we have left to do here is just get some seeds going in there. I'll top them up with a little bit of perlite just to cover up the seeds. Uh, maybe we'll give them a little dynamico kind of love on both sides, and uh, we'll get this experiment underway. All right, everything's planted. The uh, first water timer should be coming on shortly here, and the experiment will be underway. I'm also going to take my uh, GoPro here, set it on time lapse, and we'll see if I can get a better time lapse of the whole grow process so that uh, you guys can see what I see as these things are going along. Sawyer, did you eat some plants? What did you do? I still love you anyway, Rat Weasel. Yeah. Yeah, we know your story. Okay, so we weren't really expecting the Miracle Grow to win now, were we? Now, before you dismiss it at just that, this stuff does actually have its place. If you've got plants outside that are planted in soil or pots that are looking like they need a little bit of help, Miracle Grow is a great product for them. These other two look very similar and sad for the first year after we put them in. A little Miracle Grow is kind of a nice kickstart to help them go. I've used it for years outdoors. And any time I've got a plant that needs a little bit of a perk up, or for potted plants, uh, the wife's deck flowers, for example, do really well with a, like a once a week kind of a dose. Mixing this stuff is super easy. I just use a tablespoon per watering jug and give it a good shake kind of before I water. And that's all you really need to do with that stuff. The reason I decided to do this experiment was just out of sheer curiosity. I wanted to see how Miracle Grow would actually do in my AB Grow test comparison pills, and now I've got the answer. Now, aside from the dog ravaging it on day 20, you could easily see at that point already the hydroponic nutrients had a dominance over the Miracle Grow. Now, this makes sense to me because it's a more complete nutrient, so I kind of expected this type of result. On a side note, if you ever wondered why your dog eats a whole bunch of greens, it's usually to calm their nauseous stomach. You know what else I learned? Baby gates keep dogs out of grow rooms. <laughs>